Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. My name is Abhishek. Guys, in the previous video, we have already discussed what is steganography, right? If you want, you can watch that. I'll give the link in the description. And I would like to tell you one thing. I have already uploaded this lecture in Hindi on my main channel. And this is my second channel, guys. I am uploading all the videos in English here on the request of my subscribers. And one more important thing, guys, I would like to tell you. On my previous channel, I have already uploaded more than 50 videos of cryptography, right? More than 50 videos of cryptography I've already covered and a lot of concepts have been covered there. So you, if you know Hindi, you can watch that. You'll get the best explanation there, right? Now let's start in English. What is cryptography versus steganography, guys? Now in cryptography, what is happening is we are sending the information from sender to the receiver by converting that data into an unreadable format, right? Look, suppose for an example, if we have some message, right? This is the message. I'm using some algorithms and I'm converting that data into an unreadable format. Now, if attacker, if there is some attacker, he will be able to see that yes, communication is happening and he will be able to see this unreadable data, but he will not be able to uh, see that what is the exact message, right? For that, what he needs to do, he needs to convert this unreadable format back to the readable format by using some various techniques. Okay. so the attacker will not be able to easily see our message. So this is the concept of cryptography. It is a kind of known communication, right? The attacker will be able to see that. Yes, we are sending some data and this unreadable format that is a cipher text. He will be, uh, this cipher text will be available to this attacker. So this is a kind of known communication. We are not hiding anything. And whereas in steganography, what we are doing is guys, it is a kind of hidden communication. Okay. So in the previous video, I've already explained you what is steganography in English also. You can check that. I'll give the link in the description. But for the time being, let me tell you in short, what is hidden communication? Suppose for an example, if this is an image, okay, and I'm sending this image to person that uh, suppose my friend. So if I want to share some secret message, I'll embed that secret message into this image. But the look and feel that is the outer look of this image will not change. That is if this image was of three, if this image just had a three written on it, okay, then attacker, if he tries to attack, suppose this is an attacker, if he tries to attack, he will only see a image which is having written, which is having three on it, right? On which three is written, but he will not be able to know that yes, some special data is being sent from person A to person B. So this is a kind of hidden communication. Okay. So this is the basic idea. Now it is a technique to convert the secret message into an unreadable form. I have already told you that is what we call as the cipher text guys. Okay. We call that uh, process encryption and the output, which we will get, that is the unreadable format. We call that cipher text. Now in steganography, it is a technique to hide the existence of the communication, right? This is no, simple. Now in cryptography, it alters the overall structure of the data. How is it altering the overall structure of the data? We are taking a message and we are converting it into some unreadable format, which is called cipher text using some algorithms, encryption algorithms. Okay. This is the process of encryption. So that is why the overall structure of data is changed. And in steganography, we are just higher, taking the information, embedding that information into this file and sending it over the internet. Okay. So we are not making any changes. We are not converting our data into a special message. Okay. Uh, what I mean to say is we are not converting our secret message into some unreadable format and then embedding it. Okay. We are just taking the normal text. Suppose my normal text is my name is Abhishek and I'm uh, embedding that text. My name is Abhishek into this particular image. I'm not converting it into a special format. So it does not alter the overall structure of the data in cryptography guys. Let us see the fourth difference key is necessary. Okay. Without key, you will not be able to do cryptography. We will not be able to do encryption. We will not be able to. Uh, convert the message into an readable format. So this is the concept of cryptography key is a must. Okay. At least one key should be there. Whereas in steganography, we can achieve steganography without key concept. Okay. If we have key, that is good. If we don't have key, that is completely fine. Okay. So key is optional, but if we have key, we will have more security. This is the concept right now. Final result obtained is cipher text. Okay. I have told you this in cryptography final is uh, final text obtained is cipher text. And in steganography, final result, what we obtain is called the stego media. What is stego media guys? I, if I have this normal image, when this image were normal, I have not embedded any special data into it. This is called the normal image. And when I am embedding some special message, that is my secret message into this image, this image along with this secret embedded message is called what stego media or stego. Okay. That is image plus secret information. Now in cryptography, if there is an attack, we call that crypt analysis. Okay. And whereas on the other hand, if in steganography, we have attack, this is what we call as steg, steg analysis. Okay. It is the art to detect the communication because we are having hidden communication, right? 
and if our attack happens in cryptography we call it crypt analysis okay and the person who does that attack is called a crypt analyst right guys let's see the next point in cryptography once it has been discovered no one can easily get the secret data why is it so because guys we are using various types of algorithms to encrypt our data and to get the message in the unreadable format so if the attacker wants to convert that unreadable data into the readable data what he should do is he should apply some algorithms he should do something in order to convert that coded uh, data into the normal format so he has to do some work right and that is not a easy task so if he is able to discover the data no one can easily get the secret data okay he should not he will not be able to see our normal message very easily he will have to apply a lot of algorithms and that is a very hectic task right i am not saying it is impossible it is possible that or if we have converted a normal message into a coded message he can convert that coded message into the normal message also but it will take time it will take efforts okay and that's why we are using various algorithms for our security once it has been discovered uh, that is in stignography once uh, we discovered that yes stignography is happening we have embedded some secret message then guys it can only uh, it can be easily uh, fetched why is it so because if i am sending a information suppose i am i have embedded my password inside this image and i'm sending it over the internet if suppose there is a attacker he is very clever and he comes to know that yes some data is being uh, hidden in this file so he will easily be able to grab it if he is able to grab it then i have not converted my password into some unreadable format okay so that's why he will directly get the data so that is why if it has been discovered anyone can get the secret data easily and signography is a less popular approach guys whereas cryptography is a more popular approach and the last point of difference is in cryptography we have all these things like we have confidentiality also authentication also data integrity also and non repudiation also whereas in signography only confidentiality and authentication is being achieved so guys that's it from this video this is the difference between signography and cryptography if you like the video please click on the thumbs up button do join my telegram channel for regular video updates you can subscribe my other channel also so guys it has a lot of subjects like you will get the interview preparation tips over there cryptography subject is there already uploaded there and you have computer graphics engineering economics etc right so do visit that channel and please subscribe to my youtube channel guys if you are new to the channel yeah that's it